Okay. One more video. Okay. This should be interesting, right? Because the tape came out in 2000 by Mr. Naftali, who was involved in MK Ultra. They had with this archive. They ran violence also in that archive. They were fascinated. Americans, <laughs> Americans simply are fascinated. As a nation, they're fascinated with the violence. I don't know what is it appeals to them when it comes to human suffering. Uh, maybe I'm not human. Uh, but to them, it's just so appealing. It's just so uh, attractive, so magnetic, so irresistible. Something that I have seen also in what I described as to it pertain to the British royals. Maybe that's exactly what Central Intelligence Agency had in it, because they had to apologize. This mental illness, a serious mental illness that persists at British uh, inside of the London at the Buckingham Palace. They had to find a way to excuse their fascination with you can you can call this horrified, you can call this terrified, you can you can call this traumatized, you can call that whatever uh, a suffering, whichever whatever you like. Uh, but I think it was uh, more than anything. If I describe, it was a misery. It was a misery which MK Ultra was a tool that was designed to incapacitate me, disallowing me to act uh, not only accordingly with uh, my physical and mental abilities, uh, but also to counteract through the use of law enforcement, police. So this video is very, very, very essential, very, very important for me because this picture here, for instance, this picture here, this one here, uh, this picture reminds me of Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan that were right in front of me and it reminds me on how I called Ronald Reagan a nigger. Yep, you heard that right, I call him a nigger. Uh, this picture should date into his late presidency. And uh, this was not at the beginning of the presidency picture. This picture here should date to late presidency of Ronald Reagan, or he rehearsed the picture in front of me with a colleague, Richard Nixon, to make impression on me. Um, Ronald Reagan died. Ronald Reagan died in uh, 2004, and it's something I found in particular strange because the tape was released in 2000 from National Archives. That's the tape that refers to United Nations uh, phone call, uh, where in which. Ronald Reagan referred to African delegation. You're gonna get all more details down below as uh, monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Ronald Reagan definitely was a humorous person. Uh, although I have to say that he was more sadistic from my point of view. I could not very much, uh, barely I could. He did came to Slovenia. He was in Slovenia. He came here, was doing. Uh, hiking he was uh, searching believe it or not for uh, also for the chestnut not walnut but chestnuts he did that kind of stuff he did some mushroom picking he did that kind of stuff mr reagan mr reagan was uh, many many times in slovenia central intelligence agency Illuminati, uh, he was in city Novo Mesto area, uh, he was guest here. Uh, I didn't mind him, it was, he was not the only one, he was one of, the, one of the politicians, but 
He was here in Slovenia. I recall Mr. Reagan in Slovenia. I recall him and Richard Nixon. I recall all these people also in Slovenia. But um, apart from his humorous part, which was more uh, humorous, uh, understandable at the beginning of his presidential career, um, he had a very cynical, uh, quite sadistic, in fact, side too. Um, Richard Nixon was difficult, extremely difficult to deal with. Uh, and Ronald Reagan picked the, his uh, signal, if you like. If this is a signal, I think it's more related to sickness. I think, I think honestly, Richard Nixon had a lot of cold. Honestly, he had a cold. Or um, whatever, wh whichever way you want it. But he, he was a man who, who could have outbursts and uh, he had a hard time dealing with it. Um, the thing is that uh, the stuff that went in the United States of America uh, is best described right here. That's with my totally declining any kind of assistance from American side in respect to uh, my attitude or my views or anybody or... Uh, you, look, I am not here to hide anything from anybody, but there are others, in fact, who are desperately in a desperate situation with probably nobody more United Nations to hide crime uh, stuff that went on yeah that's a very very different uh, issue yeah I described you that MK Ultra which is started when I was three months old I, I described you all that stuff I described you how there were no whites even allowed from United States of America even this kind of policy existed that was accented to me by the Serbs it was accented to me by the Serbs and by the Russians that we don't want any kind of whites we just want blacks at the negotiation table they pressured me to embrace black people because we don't want to deal with the white people this was this this was it was it was a violence and it was exactly what I stated. And you take that for many, many years, uh, regardless of it, regardless of this, what I stated here. Nobody in the United States of America is going to apologize any part of me. Um, no slave owners from the United States of America as the United States of America was and is. It's a basically country that is funded on a slavery. Is going to be using me anymore or ever again to apologize any part of me. Any part of me. And I made myself clear about who and what I am. You are not going to be apologizing me in absolutely any way. The violence that went on at Bronx, at Queens, was went on at expense of the top U.S. government officials. Central Intelligence Agency enforced the violence against me at Queens, Bronx, throughout Florida, throughout Georgia, you name it. Wherever they had a black communities, Alabama, wherever, wherever they had black communities, that's exactly what went on. Uh, they would deliver me and it was, it was a little bit more than lynching. It was very, very bad stuff, you know. But the thing is that this went on hands to the Soviets. All this stuff went on hands to, to the Serbs. You can say that this was American-Russian policy, that this was their, what uh, Mr. William J. Burns, uh, Director of Central Intelligence Agency, is listed as a, diplo as a diplomat. It was their diplomacy, right? Uh, whichever way you're going to call this, it's a crime against humanity. And you better believe it, it's a racism. Yeah, it's, you cannot do, you cannot go publicly lynch, you cannot deprive somebody of sleep for days. Allow one to get two hours of sleep and drag him from one house to another for people to jump in his face. That threaten him, engage in violence, that doesn't work like this using 
other ethnic groups to do just this and then basically accuse him of having a problem during MK Ultra, of course, not in real time, because in real time there were no problems with me. Aren't you a little bit worried about? Aren't you a little bit nervous about? Because there were no problems with me in real time. So, you can't be doing this kind of stuff. You can't. This is this is this is not only illegal. It's beyond unethical. It's a genocide for which I don't owe any party in the United States of America. Not blacks who committed this kind of crimes, not the whites portion of the American population, any kind of thank you or, um, you know, the last thing I would do to the blacks basically is turn my ass to them uh, and act like I don't know what the fuck went on in the past. You can dream about that stuff. So that tape of 1971, you are going to account for one. For a moment, I was actually fine with it because it was 1971 and I was born in December of 1971. Well, the thing is that Mr. William J. Burns and the daughter of Ronald Reagan, which condemned this uh, racial statements of Ronald Reagan, they both stated me this stuff was done for my sake and that I have to use it to clean my name to etc 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 no I have no intention to do any of it I'm going to in fact repeat to you one thing uh, there was a big big problem there was a big hassle here there was a big deal about there was a big deal about my stating to Ronald Reagan to Nixon to American politicians that when it comes to Queens and to I'm gonna put the links below to you. This is probably this one here playing. Yeah, probably I don't know. Maybe this one here that I described. And if it's not this one, it's gotta be this one here. Yeah. Um. Bronx, Queens, this is why I recall this stuff. When I, you know, I, I, suggest, I asked them, in the, middle, in the midst of the lynching, I asked them, oh, this goes back in time. Uh, I asked them, I said, listen, I told them, yeah, because they started to insist me that they would found, they would always found whatever they would have, the black people would congregate and they would have a protest and stuff like this. And so they had their... Um, voting support from the black people or if you like the organizers of these black movements uh, they would um, they would collaborate uh, they would not see themselves eye to eye listen listen to me baby baby look at me look at me they would cooperate only on this issue they would they might because because why motherfuckers because I participated there and I remember you fucks. I remember. I remember the son of Martin Luther King. I remember all these criminals. I remember you fuckers. You're gonna respond. You're gonna. You're accountable for this stuff. You're gonna fucking account to me for this stuff. You are to report to me about this stuff. It's not. Nobody here is trying to get away from anything. You are the one who tried to get away with anything. With a whole lot of stuff. That world needs to find out the truth about the United States of America. You have to fucking account to me for these things. They cooperated on... This was one of the issues they cooperated. But they disagreed at large for many other issues. And so Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan would deliver me through the CIA with the CIA. And also on the side they would participate. They would talk to these people. Or they would have CIA people talk to them or pull them on the side and so they would talk to them from this movement for these black movements and they would talk to them about these issues and so what they would do is they would use these black people to just pull me out and literally throw me in the in the midst of this black you know um Havoc, basically people protesting and stuff like this and i found myself in the middle of this uh fuck up with people chanting oh, oh, angry protesting and stuff like this and 
it became like like a frequent thing. The thing is, it was mula for that stuff. You got cash. The black community started to cash on it. So it was more and more and more of this shit that started to go on. And it was more and more and more cash. So this is how a black, so American black started to purchase. Um, they started to purchase, I don't even know how, uh, you know, like an alibi, like a criminal alibi to American, like a White House started to purchase. Uh, actually, American uh, White House started to purchase from American blacks an alibi for crime against me. And it was not only American blacks who started to purchase this. The further the crime went, the more United Nations who brokered this kind of crime. You understand that United Nations were the one who was the main broker. The number one broker of this genocide was none other than United Nations since my childhood. It was the Soviet Union. It was Moscow, Belgrade. And of course, the secondary which had a... Uh, which they used to associate through and who started to take control of this case was United Nations. Upon the fall of the Soviet Union, absolutely, United Nations was the main broker of this crime. I wouldn't say it was 50-50, it was more than 50-50 for American side, for the NATO, for the Western Europe side, because they had United Nations and through United Nations they started to broker crime Internationally, globally, espionage basically fucking exploded. Just as I thought, and as I was told, according to MK Ultra Memories brainwash, there was not, they claimed there was nothing else for you left. The Soviet Union is down. That's not true. That's where the crime especially exploded. That's where this, as I, as I grew up, according to my abilities to even survive, they went insane, boy. This is like... I don't know how much you would use the car to get every kilometer out of one, but I served to this scum uh, as much as I could stand on my feet. They would deliver me to London where I would barely even stand on my feet. Ripped apart completely, basically, in front of the Charles and I was in front of Royals and I was just keep like going out basically barely standing on my feet charles demanded for me to remember to memorize the stuff uh after i acknowledged the stuff that i was barely standing on my feet then he would give the sign to slovenian police and they would take me and place me somewhere to sleep this was this was uh, in it's indescribable it's indescribable it's indescribable when you find yourself on a plane in Russia and you are bound for international flight with a normally looking family, which however disallows you. Lady especially was vicious about it. With the two children to try to take a nap on the fucking plane. Starting to call others, uh, do something about it, do something about it. he's going to go sleep and this and that. This is like a Illuminati flights, totally Illuminati flights, because I know this flights, I what kind of flights the fuck were these flights? Because it was already out of the Russia. It was, it took on international routes and stuff like this. And people, I'm certain, figure out that I was not okay, that I was half dead. Yet I was on that plane, and on that plane seems to me like nobody gave a fuck. Or maybe they gave a fuck, and maybe it's the police. What very often also happened, took place, that they had their own way to dismantle them, to neutralize them. So, the queens, they insisted me, uh, we can't liberate you from MK Ultra because it would be entire Queens and Bronx, New York that would go. Uh, they mentioned Baltimore, all this black communities throughout the US that they would just, they engage them with a certainty they will convince me that the moment with the black people talking to me with the confidence, 
the moment they would liberate me from MK Ultra, that it would be revolved through the U.S. and stuff like this, um, doesn't even cross my mind. The whole thing was purchased by the White House, by the U.S. Congress, for the sake of, <laughs> I'm going to say, a metal Soviet politic would be the proper term, terminology for this used. Yes, to apologize there, Mr. William J. Burns would say diplomacy, right? So that I would owe something to the black community for saying that, for asking uh, American presidents, politicians, if they have a military. Because they wanted me to ask this question. How? They say, how are we going to... How are we going to calm them down? Obviously, in my case, I just wanted to stay alive. So I proposed the military. And it's not only that I would propose the military if I would be under such circumstances, but if such circumstances would really exist, I definitely would propose the military. I definitely would uh, to intervene in such areas and also act with extreme prejudice if necessary. Why would I do this stuff? Well, because if there is somebody with a zest, with a need of lynching so much that he is willing to do a protest and engage in violent outbursts uh, throughout the nation because of somebody who is subjected to lynching, uh, that, to me, it clearly interpretates that this individual is uh, doing his best to destroy American Constitution. That he is doing, a group of people that are doing their best to destroy uh, laws in the United States of America. Uh, what that means to me is that uh, I have the right to authorize uh, military and uh, military courts and... Uh, like, you know, expedited trials. Get these people on expedited trials to seal their faith. Like on assembly line, literally. Charging them with a for a, with the acts of a terrorism, or a foreign terrorism. Engaging in espionage for the sake of Russia or Soviet Union or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, based on something that is eroding laws, democracy of the United States of America on behalf of Russia. Uh, using, even as an example, the stuff I have mentioned to you earlier, and that dates to my early childhood, where I was literally discouraged from even asking uh, to see white people around me if, anywhere inside of the Soviet bloc, especially Serbia and Russia. Uh, yes, it goes beyond the racism. It goes straight into domestic terrorism issues. Uh, I think you have like a foreign terrorist act. Don't you have that stuff? But that's exactly where that goes. So what I'm going to do, instead of eat some shit from somebody who think is going to apologize against me, black violence, and a violence brokerage of the violence through United Nations, which was, since 1971, a broker of this violence against me, um, you are going to account to me for that tape that you say 1971, that it's 1971. The violence was so bad in the United States of America under a Reagan, Richard Nixon, the violence was so rampant, the violence was so bad that at one point in time, and that was close toward the end of the career of Ronald Reagan, um, he lasted until 1989, so there must be a picture of them from 1989, um, that I called one a nigger, and I called all others, I, call, I started to call them a nigger. Everyone, including Nixon, I, 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 I exploded and I didn't want to have anything to do anymore, not with the black, not with the white. To me, I told them, you are all niggers, I told them. Uh, it, was, it started like this, that it was 
Oh yeah, that's black or whatever it is. Uh, but it turned out to be this whole thing. They just progressed the violence. They just progressed uh, ethnic, racial tensions uh, with the idea to sicken, to make me literally mentally ill. For me to, I mean, to turn me, obviously, I don't know, into Richard Manson or something like that. Uh, into some kind of Nazi and so on. So that means that the Soviet diplomacy worked, Russian American diplomacy, neo Nazi, or whatever you want to, let, let's just say Russian diplomacy worked like in, in the best year. So this must be, this picture must be taken sometimes. It's, the thing is, folks, this picture is everywhere. This picture is everywhere. That's why I'm so suspicious about it. You see, this picture is everywhere. Everywhere it's monkey, this and that. You're going to see this picture. You know, I don't know if I entered the keywords in it. Let me see this stuff here. Uh, we're going to use this words. It doesn't matter to me. Then there is another issue behind this stuff. Then there is another very, very, very important issue behind this stuff. I don't see that picture. Yeah. Okay, let's see this here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to open these links here. We're going to open this stuff here. To see out of all these links here, how many of these links Again, the same pictures you see right there. How many of these links have this picture here? Because this is a picture that is, you know, uh, this one doesn't have for one thing, right? We, we establish, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight links. We're going to close this down. Audio recordings have surfaced of a phone conversation nearly a half century ago between President Richard Nixon. Alright, this is just uh I suppose that this is just not enough. This is not. This is not. Bye bye. I don't have enough in it in this one. Okay. This one is, okay, we have another one here, this is a second one therefore, oh come on A. Eh? Yeah, and we have another one here, this is the same picture. Okay. Yeah, well, this is not it. Now, if he did this for me, he really didn't have to do any of that stuff. Uh, I definitely do not owe, owe anything to Ronald Reagan. Um, is it? No, it's not. Okay, but we have a three of them here with this image here, and I'm very sensitive to this image. I don't appreciate this image. And this is how the media blends, even if something like this was to take place, if you understand me, even if something like this was to take place, there is actually a possibility that two things happen in this case, investigating this crime. There's actually a possibility that Reagan did this with the Nixon in 1971. <laughs> However, the fact is, fact of the matter is, if he really did that stuff, with his daughter included, he tried to blend, what's the matter here? He tried to blend in that case his crime it says here uh, there is no internet connection, really. It says I am connected here to the internet. 
internet connection is working quite fine so we're gonna close this stuff meaning that what that mean what that explains is that he might have used the time when I started to repair so that means that he torture and torture and torture to the, such a degree that I actually refer to one as a nigger and when I did so he had now uh, he orchestrated maybe something that had to do with 1971 or maybe he just took the photo with a Richard Nixon in a moment when the two had me in front of I think this was inside of this presidential office or whatever because it was all this this things it would be it would be it would be called Richard uh, they had me around there that was other people that would deliver me and so on whatever the hell this took place um, I would even have to think about where exactly this took place but this took place in somewhat uh, familiar place the thing is the thing about it is that he might have done something like this to maybe wash his blame his fault for 1971 uh, maybe he was doing this kind of stuff to me maybe per equal employment opportunity which continued upon my arrival to the United States in 95 to be to, to be a real-time beast really a stuff they were doing is something that you would be expecting from from whatever is written about Gestapo during the World War II was some kind of Hitler Nazi Germany or something like this period or something like this this is what this is what this was this life in United States of America there in my stay in United States of America this was this was uh, uh, the MK ultra sessions were just giving me impression about books about the movies that you would see about the new Nazi Germany uh, from the point of view of mentality thinking sickening stuff really so and it could be that if he did not do this to wash his fault of 1971 or to uh, do something like this on behalf of United Nations uh, or black minority in the United States that was involved in this stuff uh, he did this to play a good Samaritan this is how I see it is because is I called him uh, the n-word when this photography when this picture took place also keep in mind that Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan would return to the White House just note that ex-presidents do have access to the White House Oh, they do go and bite themselves into the wine. They do go inside them. You're going to say, hey, well, how? A reporter with a, you know, a reporter don't fucking see nobody with the silicon mask going in and out. You don't see shit what goes behind the walls. Who goes in and who goes out. That's just a plain fact. You can, you can be there night and day all you want. You're not going to know who goes in and out out of these palaces. Um... You have no clue about who goes in and out when it comes to this so-called diplomatic channels. These people are just a phone call away from inviting themselves to whatever they want, basically, if they have something important to discuss or whatever. That's all there is to it. But they all interact with one another. It's just a matter of sitting in a limousine and driving yourself to whatever location. That's the real life in Washington, D.C. and in area. Um, the one thing I would however not want yeah I would not allow somebody to play a good Samaritan 
uh, is the daughter from Reagan insisted and what uh, William Burns insisted that this is just uh, that uh, he insisted that I should that I that I'll make sure that I condemn uh, Reagan and stuff like this for making a racial comments and stuff like this. It sounds to me, it smells to me like some kind of equal employment um, opportunity commission or something like this, some kind of scam like that. But. The thing about it is that uh, I don't have nothing really to excuse myself to anyone. You are to account to me about your wrongdoings, about the stuff you did, to, to make myself clear about it. You're gonna also certify me about this tape. Where the fuck, what is with this tape? And I'm looking forward to learn about what exactly Burns meant by this, that this is gonna be a help to me. I don't need no fucking help. I don't even want to read your resume under Wikipedia because I don't give a fuck about you, what you got to say. I only have a questions for you. And whatever is of interest to me, I'm going to make myself. I'm going to, I already go and, and find out about myself. You, your help to me, you were of no fucking help to me. Okay? You, you did wipe ass to your presidents. You did the run and clean their ass with the toilet paper, but if you are no help to me of any kind, and uh, you know, I hope you, we're gonna finish here because of the previous videos I posted. We don't have any to talk about to one another about this and that. You you are to clarify me. I'm talking about essential intelligence. You have to fucking pay me respect about this 1971 tape to the last millimeter. Explain how the fuck this tape find itself on the internet. So that I know for sure about this tape too. None of you made me a favor of any kind to make myself clear. You screw me up 53 years. And your death threats, you were full of them. That you were bound of It could be like this and it could be like that. And you, you know, I got very little to lose. You know, the only time I would lose would be when I would keep my shot, my mouth shut, when I would go your way. That's when I would lose. I would lose if I would keep my mouth shut about what went on. If I would actually even allow you to uh, fabricate lies, change the truth in the most atrocious criminal backstabbing ways like this one for instance this is what really gets me off when you try to suggest me that somebody did something for my sake you have not fucking done anything for my sake it's like in video number one and i stated you alone told me that the mount everest compared to the torture that was done on me is a little tiny little mountain whenever i refer to one that i did something that i should think about it you have not done any kind of favors to me and honestly i didn't even ask you for any kind of favors any kind of favor like this to me during mk ultra would be totally obnoxious for sure god knows that if i could i would have smacked the fuck out of your nose during mk ultra for even suggesting me something so filthy so dirty so undermining Nobody did any kind of favors to me. Fact of the matter is that I had to stick in there to stay alive. Because if I would continue to raise and stand up for myself, I wouldn't even be talking to you here anymore. I just had to comply. And your language to me during this so-called, hey, you call them MK Ultra, right? It's MK Ultra, right? Stuff like you, you drug up person, you do bestial stuff like it's called MK Ultra, right? Your language to me during MK Ultra referred to me as cooperative and non-cooperative. Uh, Mr. Burns had with the American side was like uh, cooperated, non-cooperated, it depends on you, 
uh, did he cooperate? Did he cooperate? It was funny to note <laughs> a psychiatrist cop here from Slovenia and the criminals here from Novo Mesto. Uh, first, they don't even understand what the cooperate was. Cooperate. Cooperate. Did not did not understand what cooperate is. But Americans use it for so many times. Eventually, psychiatrist Peter Kopp started to use uh, cooperati, cooperati, cooperate, cooperati, cooperate. Um, they probably understood it's just something that they didn't like to use, but because of so much violence they were involved in it, and because they keep facing resistance from me and dismissive attitude during MK Ultra, they started to use also this uh, uh, cooperate. They also started to use this uh, cooperate, they started, probably because they knew even they were audio surveillance, they were always looking for a way that would be, uh, that would be more non-English, right? It's probably that kind of stuff. They were very, very cautious about even the words they use, all through I can explain each and every one of their vocabulary they used the most, that was the most frequent. Sometimes I literally and leave myself into police officers and actually see things literally through their eyes and it actually helps me to recall how the language even they use the words they use uh see inside of their brain actually what the way they uh, uh even at their work probably what colleagues would greatly agree uh could well describe them, how they, uh, the way they communicate, or the people they deal with, you know, they record, it's all recorded, this stuff. Uh, every one of them, at the work and so on, the way they uh, I very closely have ability to, to whew, go inside and talk about the choice of words they even use, I am certain at their work. Um, nineteen seventy one tape need to find out when this tape actually appeared, if it really appeared in nineteen seventy one, and you need to understand in the United States of America you are a lousy partners you are shit partners uh you did me no fucking favor other than erasing 53 years of life but on the other hand on the other side vladimir putin is really really pleased about having to deal with you he modernized his military became something different and uh just a house from here i already did place that on the on the internet i'm sure i did i did the paste up for the police from the novel master police is the guy that makes uh, four thousand five hundred euros every month that gets paid uh, i did post it for like uh, police officers that make uh, the most money i think i did post this on the internet they became filthy wealthy these guys uh, they collected good money and they had a beautiful careers with flying around the world first class and seeing things other people don't get to dream about uh, instead of doing their work uh, they were on a special assignments together with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, enjoying basically free vacations on multiple numerous locations meeting all kinds of people seeing all kinds of insane stuff and look at that for the cost of torture for the cost of killing somebody systematically it's not bad at all eh? is it you are to report to me about that tape uh, in the united states of america that's a country that was founded on uh, slavery where i'm coming from no slavery we did not enslave here in slovenia anybody that's one thing and uh my name from both sides of the family during the second world war is written as uh, 
one of those that stood up against uh, uh, Nazi Germany and uh, fascist Italy. We did not participate, we did not collaborate any of my mother, on my mother's side on, or my father's side, the parents, uh, I should say grandparents, none of them were involved in it, in any kind of neo-Nazi activities. There was one uncle that was involved in uh, a white guard activities. That's an uncle. That's a distant uncle. It's no close relative was involved in it. Our relatives lost even lives. So if you're going to talk to me about these things, you're going to fucking account to me. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. I was your help. You used me. You abused me. And you way too much. You went too far with it. You took it too far with it. You you account to me for this fucking tape. I fucking owe you kick in your head when it comes to apology, whether that be at Bronx or Queens or United Nations or somebody who had some kind of sick idea that I owe somebody some fucking apology. You blacks at Queens and at Bronx, you're going to fucking account to me about because you threatened me that I said that it should be military deployed. Military should be deployed. And those of you that will be caught, you should be charged under foreign act of the terrorism. That's a fact. That's a bottom line fact. That was my country. I would deploy your fucking military at Bronx and at Queens for some threat like this that you would do, that you would do public unrest, that you would go and vandalize and damage for the sake of lynching of somebody. You're gonna, you too will explain to me about these issues. I'm not here to buy your favors, dude. I'm not here to go into ass from anybody or uh, see myself as... Uh, in my fucking country, you're responsible for the stuff you do, bad you do. You're gonna respond for that stuff. Even Milan Kuchan came in my face. It looked like it was they were doing me a favor, dude. It looked like uh, they were buying me like, like uh, British royals and Kuchan and stuff like this. They, they, they acted like they were buying me black people that they are going to be my advocate. Are you fucking crazy? You, you, you dealt with me. You dealt with me. You didn't deal with no fucking British royals. Or Milan Kuchan, or Putin, or whoever the fuck. You're responsible to me for this shit. I don't give a three fuck about anybody doing any kind of favors here. Nobody do, did me a favors. I don't care really nothing what you got to say about this stuff. You're responsible for genocide. You're responsible for ethnic cleansing. For 53 years that eventually even involved psychiatric violence against me at almost age 40, with my having nowhere to fucking turn, with people, enemies, in which you turn into hostility, this little country against me, laughing in my face whenever I was applying in other countries, running literally across the border with a 20 euros in my pocket, to rescue, to save myself life, to learn language in, in streets of Poland, Slovakia, uh, to start to solicit about MK Ultra issues and so on. I don't fucking owe you other than kicking your head, motherfuckers. You crazy, you delusional. Eh? That's what the fuck you're gonna report. You start doing that fucking report, stop dreaming. Central Intelligence Agency, FBI. You fucking stop dreaming about it. You have no fucking control over the case. The only thing you have, however, is you bear responsibility for what I stated in this video. There is no other thing. There is no negotiations. There is no negotiations here. There is no apologies here. There is no... There is no... Nobody's going to turn anybody ass for crime that was performed against me. There is no such thing.